Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So we are coming to the end of Halloween <laughs> and today is the end. So guys, um, I thought I'd take the opportunity to do my occult box. No, this one is not my Halloween box. As you know, I already unboxed that. Way too eager, had to open it. Um, and unfortunately, it, it took a while to get here. It was nothing to do with the cult box. It was purely down to all the batches going and Royal Mail have obviously slowed down on the delivery. But it came today and I think she was quite aware it was going to come today. And I was so made up when it came today. And um, with that said, I have done an unboxing and I am just like so happy and it's nice because yesterday i wasn't feeling very happy at all so guys i'm going to take my lovely hat off now this is as you know has played a special part in my halloween uh, i'm going to put him back on my mr scully and we have mr scully here today guys he's come to join us to wish you all a happy halloween and as you can tell He's got a little bit of red lipstick on him because we had a bit of a kiss when we made our video last, which has been up for a while now. It seems like Halloween's gone on for a very long time this month for me. It might be down to I've been preparing for Halloween way before Halloween and now it's finally coming to the end. So, yeah, so <laughs> there's a meaning behind this. So I've ordered my occult box um, and I the reason I ordered this was... Um, obviously I was getting a spooky box and um, he never came and I, I emailed him and asked whereabouts was my um, box and he said that mine was Winter Wonderland which which would come round about Christmas I'd have thought so I did say to him when do I expect to get this box because I paid for it in September like at the beginning of September and they said it would be January and I just thought January I was planning on opening all these boxes at the same time on Halloween including my trick-or-treat and um I was just like huh I was really gutted so they were really good they gave me a refund and um they apologized that it wasn't made clear that I wouldn't get my box because I know that like the three boxes behind apparently at the minute which is a shame but maybe next year I will go and try a um spooky box for this year now, I'm not going to bother because I hate waiting for things. I'm the world's worst. I've also lit my Halloween candle. I burnt my other two. I still absolutely love the smell of this. And it's going to be sad to see the end of these. But obviously my Christmas candles are sat there waiting to be burned next. So I had an email from a cult and it said happy birthday. And it was like scratching my head thinking, my birthday? And I, I didn't really understand what they meant because my birthday is February. So I was like, it's not my birthday. <laughs> I don't want to be like my birthday yet because it means I'm 33. And I was like, ooh. But I think when I was filling in my details, I don't know if I put my son's birthday. Why? I don't know. I mean, I've got four children. But for some reason, the only way I can figure this out is Zach's birthday because it's Zach's birthday tomorrow so I thought that this might be like to do with Zach's birthday and they thought that this was mine I don't know I don't know what's happened but she said here happy birthday free birthday gift multi bag so I was like okay um I when I did get the email I did wonder what they meant and I thought it might be just some promotion thing so I got my little invoice here and she's put hope all is well hope you enjoy your order and to put happy birthday <laughs> so if you're watching you my birthday so sure. but it is Zach's birthday so I was going to let Zach open it but he'll be pretty confused to why he's opening something that's not his so <laughs> I've decided just to do it myself so I'm going to crack this open and I don't expect to get anything on my birthday now because I've had it early so it's just an early birthday present we can look at it that way I don't know why I put October to be honest with you the only birthdays I know in October is my son's oh right so here's the bag and um, this is a free bag guys I didn't pay for this 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 came free oh I've got one of them lollipops love them love them love them so it comes in the black organza bag I absolutely love these bags as you know and the first thing I'm grabbing is this because I love them mm. so this is I think it might was it on here no, these are my stickers, so I love my stickers. I put all my stickers on my unit, and it's a Halloween sticker. Yay! So, by the looks of it, it's little pumpkins and a little lantern here. 
And you've got this tree design with like the cobwebs on. That's very pretty. It looks like a stag's horns, isn't it? And they're just sat in between them. I will take that and put it on my unit. So I'll put all my occult stickers on my unit. Why not? I'll stick a bomb it. I love it. And here's my my um, lollipop. If I can tell, this was like, I think it was licorice and blackcurrant. And I absolutely devoured it. I, I think I sat here when I got out of hospital and I opened my boxes. I sat and munched this. I absolutely loved it. And I've got a white witch's candle. Yay. So I've not had a white one before. Um, very virginal. Hmm. So I very like that. I've got like a little holder that, that takes all these little candles. So I've got two purple and I've got my white one now. So I'll put that upstairs with my other one. And then I've got some confetti in here as well that says happy birthday. <laughs> oh, guys, is it all right if I use this tomorrow? Because it's, it's my boy's birthday tomorrow. Oh, can you see? Oh, can you see the air coming out? It's really cold in here. So she's put little little sequins in that says happy birthday. Oh, I love it. So I'm just going to put these here. But first, oh, look how cute this is. And she's put it on a, a different row. I'm going to take all that confetti out because I want them for tomorrow. Let me just pull this. So guys, here is a little, oh look, a little hand. How cute is that? And these don't irritate me obviously because they're on here and the chain, this part never really irritates me. That is really cute, I like that. I've got so many necklaces, I need to get that that necklace holder from um, Killstar. I'm gonna wait till Black Friday and grab it because I think it'll be cheaper then. So that's my little hand. That's cute. Zach would have just grabbed that lollipop and ran off. I know he would. He'd have been like, I love that one. Thank you. Happy birthday to me. In fact, a cult box because technically it's not my birthday. Oh, we've got a black one as well. And it is Zach's birthday. I will sacrifice my lolly and I will give this to the boy from you to him. Happy birthday. So thank you, a cult box. And then I've got a pin and it's got little sequins in the bag as well. Oh! I love it. Absolutely love it. Check out this pin, guys. <gasps> uh, where's my glasses? If you notice, I went for my head then to grab. Let me just have a look what it says. Oh, look at that. I love it. So it's like the nighttime tree with the moon. <gasps> I love this pin. I absolutely love it. That is beautiful. My first pin. Yay. I've never had a pin. So it's my first pin. I have got my trick or treat box on the way. I know I've been saying that for ages, but I know that Carol's been away. Um, but I know that she, she's back now. So they're going to get sent out this week. Hopefully we'll have it in time for Halloween. If not, it doesn't matter. We'll do it the day after or the week after. So that's my pin. And that is my little bag. I absolutely love that. We've got the little Ganza bag. So I'm going to put this back in the bag. I'm going to take it upstairs. I do take everything back upstairs. I will photograph it and then I'll take it upstairs. I'll put my pin in there, my little witching candle and the lollipop which stack is going to take off me and my sticker. Okay guys, so remember that was absolutely free. Now this box is my £20 box and I picked this because I got my money back from Spooky Box obviously and I picked this and um, I got the Spooky Birthday coupon which was £5 off. Um, so I used it and I think I paid £18 because £3 postage but I was happy with that and I absolutely love these occult I love the occult um, tags so here's your little occult tag as you've seen in previous videos now I am going to be investing on the bigger box after Christmas I do have my subscription bag on the way as well but after Christmas it will be box and I may be doing the um, the big box as well because I'm curious to see what we get in the big box. I want some clothing so I've taken that off. I will cut this off. It's good actually. I might use that to put on Zach's presents I'm wrapping tonight. And there's my little tag. Or I'll just hang that on my unit like so. Oh well, there we go. Take it off. Um, I tend to keep these as well because they, they come in handy. So that's that. Right let's, let's get this box open. It feels like it's going to fall out guys so let's just do it nice and gently Yay. so we've got the usual petals which i've scattered all of my school unit upstairs i love these i never check if they smell of anything oh yeah another one of these so i had a white one that i had in hospital i had a yellow one and i've had both so um zach may well want this in fact zach can we swap can zach have this one and i have that big one please because I really do like the big ones better. 
so, so bad. Right, so there is little little gems and stuff on here. But let's just oh, whoa! Let's crack it open. Here we go, guys. Ah, oh, I've got some Halloween bubbles. Zach will be happy about that. Right, so let me just place this down. As you know, I've got the rose petals in there. And then I've got a little black tea light candle, which I will use because I'm burning a hell of a lot at the minute. That's that one, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. So I've got probably about 40 boxes of incense sticks at the minute. My drawer is full to the brim. I don't care because I love them. This one is 20 spell incense sticks, handcrafted in India, which I already know. And these are, look, it says light the incense and infirm as Jupiter's influence is around. Let success and luck abound. And it's artwork by Lisa Parker. I thought it was Lisa Parker because I know they do Anne Stokes ones as well, um, which I think I have had one box of Anne Stokes, but I have had um, Lisa Parker as well. I have got a few Lisa Parker stuff. So that's the look one, guys. Um, Oh, they smell really nice. There's a solid little sequence inside there as well. Oh, that is lovely. That is a familiar scent to me. I don't know where I've smelt that before. That is lovely. So thank you, guys. That is luck. Let's hope it brings me some luck. God damn, I need some. Let me tell you. Oh, look. <laughs> I'm going to save these for Zach and put them on his table. So I've got some pumpkin bubbles. Let me just... Zach, I'm going bubbles, bubbles, where? Yay! I love it. So I'm going to save that for Zach, even though like technically it's not my birthday, it is Zach. So some of this I'm going to share with the boy. So that's that guys. And then I have, oh he's going to love this. Uh, I've got a little Scully pencil. Oh look at that. I think I'm keeping this actually. <laughs> and it's got a little rubber at the end with a Mr. Skull. How cute is that? I love it. I love it. Now I will sharpen this. I've got a few Skull pencils to be honest. I know I've got a few Skull pens. My pencil case is going to be full of all the weird and wonderful school things. So that was that, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yes. So my last occult box, I got the um, bat necklace. I absolutely love it. And now to match it in this tiny little organza bag. Oh, OMG, I love them. Some little bat earrings. How cute are they? So I do love bats, guys. I just don't like it when they fly your head when you go to see them. Let me just see if it, I've got my ears pierced three times, guys. I just don't wear earrings a lot because I do have um, uh, an allergy to pewter. Oh, no. That one's come off. Oh. Oh, I know why. There we go. Right. It needs tightening and I've got nails on, so I can't actually tighten it at the minute. But I'll get my husband to tighten it. Let me put that there so I know it. But that's what they look like, guys. How cute are them? They're not too heavy either. <gasps> They're well cute. I could actually put them on my second haul and put my little back diamondy ones there. So that's them, guys. We'll put them back in there because I'll need my husband to fix that one. It's just come apart. But it's only it's only because the loops opened a little bit. There we go. I'll get him to do that for me. So that's the earrings, guys. Oh my god. So I've got another like Halloween kind of organza bag here with like the cobweb um, cobweb design. And I've got a little ghosty. Yay! I've got a little ghosty. He's got a bit of blood splatter on him. <laughs> He's a Dexter ghost. So I'll put that there because that's going to go with the other one on my unit. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, oh, there's two. Oh, it's a choker. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. I do like that. And it's that normal clasp. I struggle sometimes with the clasps um, because of my nails. And it's even more so now because I've actually got nails on oh i love that absolutely love it but i don't think i can don't think i can get it on because of my nails Ugh. bloody nails no i can't do it because of my nails but guys just look at that how cute is that i absolutely love that absolutely love it mind my old turtleneck <gasps> guys beautiful thank you nicole and i got a bracelet as well we put that back in the bag so I can take it straight up. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I've got people messaging me. Oh, look. There's a little skull on the end of the band. I like these bands. These are easier to get on. Where's my autism bands? Let me put it with my autism band. I can put this one straight on. 
Oh, how cute. There we go. Yay, this is my other bands, which are... Where are my bands, actually? There they are. I've got my awareness autism. I normally wear my Sophie band as well, but uh, I can't find it at the minute. I took it off. Right, guys, next thing. I think it's a Scully. Yay! Oh, oh, okay, okay. Now I get it. I love it. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I have all these on my shelf upstairs. I have got absolutely loads of these. And I will carry on buying them because I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And I've got like a, a full size skull that you put your your candle like in. And I did want one for the other side because I've got matching hand ones. Now I've got the matching one. So I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's more things in here. Right. So they wrapped up with black tissue. <gasps> oh, my God. I'm so excitable, aren't I? I am like a little kid at the age of 42, I'm terrible. So I've got a dream catcher. I was gonna buy a white one today and I thought, no, I'm not, I don't want white. White's so virginal and innocent. And I just throw these away because that thinks they're sweeties. Not that he eats sweeties, but he's still open it. Oh, look at this and it's purple. <laughs> oh, I love it. So I've got my own and it's a handmade dream catcher. And this is the spirit of Equinox. Look at that, guys. Absolutely love it with the pentagram inside. <gasps> I love it. So it looks very much like my dream catcher on my leg because I've got a purple dream catcher on my leg as well. That is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's a bit tangled up there. I will untangle it. Feathers, stop fighting. There we go. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's put that down there. Absolutely love that. I've been waiting to get an, um, a dream catcher, to be honest. Is there something else? What the heck? There's something else in here. What else is in here? So, last thing, guys. Oh, no way. Is it a shopping? Oh, check this out. <laughs> I love it. Talking of Lisa Parker, because this is a Lisa Parker bag. I know. I know, I know, I know. Oh, look. I love it. Now, Alicia will love this because it's got cats on it. She loves her cats. And it is Lisa Parker. I was right. So it says, I'm made from plastic bottles. Really? 40% of the base material is made from recycled plastic. That's good to know. I do recycle everything in my house. Let me see what else it says. So that's the label that it says there. And then underneath it, it says, Magical giftware designed by the global best-selling artist, Lisa Parker. I said, didn't I? And it looks like it's like a little sandwich bag, like a little to keep your dinner fresh and cold. I love that. And then you've got your little handles here. How cute is that? I can put like cupcakes in there and maybe a little bottle of gin, a little can of lemonade. What more do I need? <laughs> a bag of crisps. <laughs> I'm happy. That is brilliant. Thank you so much, Occult Box. So guys, that was the £20 Occult Box that I got. Obviously, I got it for 15 because I used the, the birthday code. My bad. Um, but it was sent to me. I don't know why. I'll, they'll, I'll have to ask them if I put my birthday down as 29th. Because if I did, it must have been because I had sack on my brain or I was thinking about something to do with sack. I'm always kind of trying to do five things at once, guys. And sometimes I send the wrong messages to wrong people. It's just a really bad habit of mine. So I absolutely love that, guys. And I got the free bag. Um, I think it was only a certain time that that promotion was on. I would have, I probably would have got the promotion out in time to you guys. But because Royal Mail took so long to bring it, uh, you've probably missed out on that now. And it's probably ended. But that is it, guys. That is my occult box for 2019. I probably won't be ordering another one now until next year when I change my subscription box. But um, thank you for joining me and a happy Halloween, guys. I hope you have a really, really good spooky one, whatever it is you do. I personally will be enjoying all the kids and the parents coming to my house, enjoying their sweets. I've had a bit of a disaster as well, guys, before I wrap this up. I had lots of decorations that I bought, not last year, the year before, and I bought some last year. I had raving skulls that were... Uh, Raven skulls. I had ravens that used to squawk and everything when you went past it. I had them and I absolutely loved it. I had door knockers that shouted, stop right there. 
kind of, I had balls that did things. I had ghosts that hang down and like flash and stuff. I had full skeletons. I had like a, a netting in like spider net design with all my bats that used to hang in it. I have lost all my decorations. I have searched the loft high and low the past two days and I just can't find them. I found a little box of little things like um, candle holders and stuff. I'm going to have one more look in the garage tomorrow. If I can't find them in the garage, I'm going to give up. But I'm really, really sad because usually I go all out at Halloween. I will be doing my pumpkins, um, which are coming tomorrow. So I will have my pumpkin. I'll put some pictures on. What the heck was that? And I'll put them on Instagram for you to see. Or oh, hopefully my trick-or-treat box comes. We'll just have our pumpkins lit here and make it all spooky and quirky. All right, guys, take care of yourself and um, happy Halloween. Bye.